from outside the yeah. arc for the Pelicans. Jaden McDaniels gets the Timberwolves off to a nice start from outside. Mentioning that today during our conference call is Carl's post-game sound after the Pelicans game was was was, was pretty good. And Brandon Ingram knocks down that mid-range jump shot. That's why, Jim, this is a huge game in some ways. You think about it, the Timberwolves, they win this tonight. Alexander Walker, the feed inside for Valanciunas as the Pelicans forge ahead. Minnesota has been very good at covering those bigs as they roll. Graham gets just into the paint and banks it in. Edwards finds Okogi in the corner, and that's no good. Towns finally gets it to rattle in. That's the first paint bucket for the Wolves tonight in five tries. That it went in. Gets it into Towns, so D'Angelo Russell getting an early break here. Towns whips it cross court. Beverly open for the triple. He's just always doing stuff when he first comes in the game. Garrett Temple. <laughs> Lewis gives it back to Temple, and he'll drill a triple. You can't bite on the, the pump fake of Valanciunas. You just have to stay down and contest and, and don't jump at it. Edwards still looking to get into the scoring column here tonight. Beasley, the Wolves needed that. They are so impressed by him. And he said, you know what? You guys are going to have a tough time keeping Nas Reed in Minnesota when his rookie-scale contract as an undrafted free agent comes up. We saw Pat Beverly make a pass to Nas last ball game that was hard to catch and finish. Same thing right there. Trey Murphy, the third. Shot clock down to three. Graham has it poked away by Reed, but Jackson Hayes there to collect and finish. He's an excellent pick and roll partner with Nas Reed. He's also had some pretty good chemistry being on the floor at the same time as D'Lo. And I mean ones and twos. Graham throws up a prayer and hits it. McLaughlin rejected by Hayes. Alexander Walker. And Chris Finch wants a timeout. Carl Anthony Towns has checked back in with his two personals out of the timeout. And Beverly is um, firing up the team, maybe firing up himself during that timeout as well. They we're overloading that side of the floor because of the town post up. Oh, what a touch pass that by needs to be careful Marshall. Here. And it sets up Jackson Hayes. Wolves just five of 18 from outside the arc. Alexander Walker gets a step on McLaughlin. Edwards gets it back. I think Edwards was going to take that three until Marshall came over and closed out. They look at the Princeton chance for the three-point play. Finch was talking about this before last game, about how a lot of times the team that the Orleans is more dangerous because they're winless as Towns backs down to three. Towns trying to be that guy. Instead, Valanciunas pulled Gotta down the back. rebound, and then the outlet is Alexander Walker was cherry picking. And that's what I'm saying. You, you know, Towns gets by Valanciunas. Alexander Walker, he countercut the last time when he knocked down the three. It's a play that's been scouted for them. Valanciunas defense. He pushed off on Towns with the off arm, Jim. Collapsing the paint, not giving either one of them any room to operate. Pelicans looking for a two for one. Graham starts off the two for one with the floater. Russell took some contact, no whistle. Really but let's get the finish. Kogi got to gotta get a stop here. Only eight minutes time for Kogi. Three seconds. Graham gets another floater to go. Point four seconds. Beasley heaves it from beyond midcourt. He hasn't had a single-digit scoring game since February 5th of yeah. last year. 52 straight That's right. in double digits for Ants as Brandon Ingram adds to the Pelicans' lead. 0 for 10 shooting from outside the arc between two shooters like D'Angelo Russell and Anthony Edwards. Anytime Ingram connects. So this is where you got to play with the same kind of emotion when you're struggling a little bit to kind of get yourself going. And that's why, you know, coaches are always wondering what's going to happen when your team sees some adversity, how you're going to react. 
all over this organization. You think about the night that they won the, the first pick of the draft lottery to get Carl Anthony Towns. He was the first number one overall pick in Timberwolves franchise history. So, you know, a tough day. Edwards trying to Here get go. things going out of that timeout. And Ants, five straight points on Edwards. Ants a willing passer. He will throw it out. Carl needs to get spaced out to give himself an open three-point shot. Make Valanciunas pay for playing uh, drop coverage. How about D'Lo? He fought through the screen and came up with a steal and hits Towns in transition. The defense, they just got to rebound the ball. Carl snaps it away. Tenth rebound of the game for Towns. Ants on the other end. Oh, how did he get that one to go? Valanciunas just extending the arm. Should have been an offensive foul. Timberwolves trying to get it to single digits, and they do. Edwards has exploded here in this quarter. The right arc and spin, where you can kiss it off the glass without using the box. Rose on a 16 to 4 run, they force the turnover. Edwards. Yeah! Ants are venomous! And it's in it energized and the prior crowd. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is a great game. Jonas Valanciunas, offensive rebound and a put back. Edwards trying to keep it going, and the heat check proves still turned on. Watching him in the summer league is fantastic. 17th overall pick of the draft, Edwards. Nobody is more on fire right now than that man. He's done a great job of cutting it to eight. Edwards attacking Hayes, and of course that one goes in as well. Extending the de defense right now, making it difficult. Oh, oh my goodness. Brandon Ingram. And that's the problem when you extend your defense, you leave gaps. Graham. Wow. He's hit some tough that's shots ridiculous. tonight. ridiculous has 23 to start the fourth quarter, guys. And there's only two points in the first half from the free throw line. Patrick Beverly starts the fourth quarter with the triple. It's just a four-point game. Do you agree with that? I, I, would, I would agree with that. Got a ways to go to. It's going to be a... Oh, they're going to call it one. Nice. And it went you, you know, you wonder if that might be one. Chris Towns back to Edwards. Still looking for his first points of the fourth quarter. Tried to guide that one in, follows his own miss, and then connects on the second chance. Ingram, Valanciunas gobbles up another rebound. And then they work it around to Marshall, all alone underneath. Russell, Dilo for three! It would be huge to get Valanciunas out of this game with the five personals. Graham. Nice move. Beautiful move oh, by Devontae Graham. Russell fakes the three. Gets some open space and able to connect. Closing in on his career high, which is 25. And Ingram gets it to a 12-point lead. 11th turnover tonight for Minnesota and their second turnover in the last couple of minutes. It's one, it's one of the things is B.I. is just having his way in this game. This is all part of the growth of this team, too, by the way. Wow, how tough was that shot? Yeah, I mean, this is a hungry team. They're trying to get on. Shot clock down to five. Ingram. Wow. Second tough shot he's hit on consecutive trips.